Hello and welcome to story time. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Are you ready for our wiggle worm theme? Get your fingers out. A wiggle wiggle here. A wiggle wiggle there. Wiggle your hands up in the air. Wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle your hips. Wiggle your knees and wiggle your lips. A wiggle 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 and wiggle some more. And now let's sit down on the floor. Just kidding. One more time. A wiggle wiggle here. A wiggle wiggle there. Wiggle your hands up in the air. Wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle your hips. Wiggle your knees and wiggle your lips. A wiggle 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 and wiggle some more. And now let's sit down on the floor. Well, I've got a little rhyme to start us off with today, and I want you to think as we do it. Hmm, which characters have we talked about so far in our summer story times, and who have we not talked about? You ready? You want to follow along with me? Fierce is the dragon, brave is the knight, Pretty is the princess, tiny is the sprite. Tall is the giant, quiet is the queen. Silly is the jester, and happy is the king. Hmm, who have we talked about so far, and who have we not talked about? Let's do it one more time and see if we can remember. Are you ready? Fierce is the dragon, brave is the knight. Pretty is the princess, and tiny is the sprite. Tall is the giant, and quiet is the queen. Silly is the jester, and happy is the king. Hmm, well we've had some stories about knights and princesses. We've had some stories about dragons. Today, we're going to talk about giants. Our first book today is Giant Pants by ye old Mark Fearing. Hmm. Let's Belbum was a giant, and like most giants, he was good at stomping. Can you stomp with me? And losing things. One morning, he lost something very important. His pants! Belbum had only one pair of pants, which the tailor in town had made just for him, and now they were lost. He searched his whole house, no pants. After peeking outside to make sure no one was watching, he searched his backyard, no pants. Giants are also good at being angry. And now, Belbum was angry. Where are my pants? He roared. Unfortunately, that didn't help him find his pants. But it did make a big mess. Then he had a thought. Maybe his friends could help. He checked that no one was around to see him, and then he headed off into the woods. First, he went to see his friend Polyphemus, the Cyclops. Cyclops only have one eye. How many eyes do you have? One, two. I've lost my pants, Bubba explained. Can I borrow a pair of yours? I only wear togas, Polyphemus said. But I have an extra one. Belbum tried it on. No, he said. I need pants. Did you look in your house? Polyphemus asked. Of course I did, Belbum roared and marched away. He went straight to see Old Grint, who was a very wise gnome. I've lost my pants, Belbum said. I can see that, said Old Grint. You can try a pair of mine. They're stretchy? Balbum tried to try them on. 
Not stretchy enough, he bellowed. Did you search your room? Old Grint asked. Yes, Belbum yelled as he stomped off. He found Lucy the unicorn and told her that he'd lost his pants. Well, I don't wear pants, but you could try that, she suggested. I have tried it, and I don't like it. Have you checked your dresser? Lucy called. But Belbum had already stormed off. He needed pants, giant pants, and there was only one way to get them. He had to walk to the tailor in town with no pants. When he got there, the tailor made him a new pair of giant pants. Belbum even decided to get a few extra pairs. That's smart. On his way back, he gave each of his friends a pair of giant pants, just in case he ever lost his again. <laughs> and when he got home, he cleaned up the mess he'd made and put away his new pants. And that's when he found his old pants. Ooh, doesn't this look like a very cool kingdom to live in? Imagine that you are a giant. Would you live in a forest? What types of friends would you have? And you wouldn't yell at your friends if you couldn't find your pants, would you? No. Get your fingers out and get a little red with me. You ready? Fee, fi, fo, fum. See my fingers, see my thumb. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Goodbye fingers, goodbye thumb. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Fee, fi, fo, fum. See my fingers, see my thumb. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Goodbye fingers, goodbye thumb. Good job. And our next book is Big, Bigger, Biggest. Because what are giants? They are so big. I mean, a giant is like ten of me stacked up tall. So as we read this book, I hope that you can learn some new words. There's lots of nice new words in this book that we can learn. It's Big, Bigger, Biggest by Nancy Caulfield. I'm big. I'm large. I'm huge. I'm jumbo. I'm bigger. I'm gigantic. I'm immense. I'm enormous. I'm biggest. I'm mammoth. I'm humongous. I'm colossal. I'm small. I'm little. I'm teensy. I'm wee. I'm smaller. I'm petite. I'm tiny. I'm itty bitty. I'm smallest. I'm miniature. I'm minuscule. I'm microscopic. I'm fast. I'm quick. I'm hasty. I'm speedy. I'm faster. I'm nimble, I'm rapid, I'm swift. And I'm the fastest, I'm fleet, I'm meteoric, I'm hypersonic. I'm slow, I'm plodding, I'm languid, I'm ponderous. I'm slower, I'm pokey, I'm laggard, I'm slothful. I'm slowest, I'm sluggish, I'm lethargic, I'm lackadaisical. Well, I'm hungry, I'm empty, I'm starving, I'm famished. I'm hungrier, I'm piggish, I'm hoggish, I'm ravenous. I'm hungriest, I'm insatiable, I'm voracious, I'm rapacious. I'm slimy, I'm damp, I'm dank, I'm moist. I'm slimier, I'm viscous, I'm slippery, I'm slick. I'm slimiest, I'm clammy, I'm cozy, I'm gooey. I'm sleepy, I'm tired, I'm drowsy, I'm spent. I'm sleepier, I'm pooped. I'm droopy, I'm slumberous. 
I'm sleepiest. I'm exhausted. I'm somnolent. I'm dreamy. Good night. Isn't it so much fun to learn and hear new words? What was your favorite word? I like that one too. Let's do a little rhyme. Can you get your fingers out? In that last book we learned about things that were big, things that were small. We're going to do a little rhyme about that. Are you ready? I'm big, big, big. I'm small, small, small. I am short, short, short. I am tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Let's do it one more time, okay? This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Good job. Our last book today is called My Daddy is a Giant. Is your daddy a giant too? My daddy is a giant. When I want to cuddle him, I have to climb a ladder. When we play hide and seek, my daddy has to hide behind a mountain. And when the clouds are tired, they come and sleep on my daddy's shoulders. When my daddy sneezes, it's like a hurricane. It blows the sea away. When my daddy laughs, it's like another hurricane and all the leaves fly off the trees. Birds love my daddy. They make their nests in his hair. When we play soccer, my daddy always wins. He can kick the ball as high as the moon. But I always beat him at marbles. His fingers are much too big. I like it when my daddy says, you're getting as tall as me. When my daddy runs, the ground shakes as if it's scared. But I'm not scared of anything when I'm in my daddy's arms. My daddy is a giant, and when I grow up, I'm going to be a giant too. We've got one more little rhyme. Are you ready? Here is a giant who is tall, tall, tall. And here is an elf who is small, small, small. The elf who is small will try, try, try to reach the giant who is high, high, high. Do you think he's going to reach him? Me neither. Let's do it one more time. Here is a giant who is tall, tall, tall. And here is an elf who is small, small, small. The elf who is small will try, try, try to reach the giant who is high, high, high. I hope you had fun reading some stories about giants today. Come join us next week to see what magical creature we learn all about. Can you get your hand out for our goodbye song? Are you ready? It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wave goodbye. It is time to wave goodbye.